Hey guys, welcome back. How are you? I hope you are good and doing well. So, in the last lecture, we worked on the second part, a uh, second task of the assignment number three, which is to display only active jobs on the public view and search results. Okay, so we did the first part, which is uh, uh, we are only displaying the active jobs on the public view. Okay, so for example, here you can see that right now we are only showing the uh, active remote jobs and we are only showing the active on site jobs. Okay, and if you go to the jobs, without any type you can see okay it is still showing the 1000 jobs for you so we need to fix that part okay so here what we need to do that company dot active jobs this part i missed okay active jobs now what you need to do just save it and refresh the page okay so now we have the correct output so we are only displaying the active jobs here okay so on job index page or on the remote jobs and on the on-site jobs we are only displaying the active jobs to the user now we need to work on the second part that we need to display the active jobs on the search result as well okay so here we don't need to do anything with the displaying of the jobs here what we need to do that instead of uh, uh, directly displaying that we need to add a range search form for the jobs controller or on the job index page and then we can allow users to search the job via some title for example okay and then the job will be available to them so here first we need to add the range check form okay so what we can do we can take the example of companies controller here you can see that in the companies controller i already displayed the uh, range check like that so we need to create something uh, similar in the jobs controller as well so here what we can do let's say just remove this at the rate jobs and make it at the rate queue. Okay. And here as well, remove this at the rate jobs and make it at the rate queue. Okay. And here, what we need to do, remove this find each and then rensec params queue. Okay. And same thing for the first statement as well. After the active jobs, we need to call this job. Okay, so sorry, call the range check. And now what we can do here at the red jobs equal to at the red q dot result. Okay, so this will be the output of the search result. Okay, so here you can see that when the type is present, it will search the jobs only from the uh, uh, remote jobs or uh, let's say on site jobs. Okay, and when it is when the type is not present, it will search the jobs from all the active jobs available in the database or in the application okay now what we need to do that we need to add the range check search form okay so uh, if you wish you can go to the range check documentation okay and you can try to find like how they are creating the search form okay otherwise i already added the search form in the company's index space so you can find it from here okay so for example let's copy this from here and we can paste this form into the jobs index which is outside the company scope okay and here what we need to do we need to place this job form just to make the proper indentation and here instead of search companies what we can do search jobs okay and then jobs path and here instead of name contains what we can do let's say title con okay because we need to search the jobs with the title like what the title contains of the job okay so now let's go to the browser and here when you refresh the page you will see some kind of error that is the error from the rensec because uh, rensec has been changed since uh, last some time and we need to make these kind of attributes that what are the attributes that we are allowing to uh, search through okay so here you can see that this is the method that we need to use exactly and we need to copy it exactly and paste it into the model where you want to apply the search okay and for example you can see that in the company model i already did that and in the job model we need to do this manually okay so here what we can do that you can see rensecable attribute like for which attribute you want to allow search to the user okay so we are considering all the attributes for now like uid posted by id salary range title total position and so on updated date and created it as well however if you wish you can remove the created date and updated it uh, but uh, i would like to tell you that just keep it because for the company 
scoped jobs we might need like when the job has been created so we need that kind of filter as well okay but for now what i am doing that i am just doing it based on the title okay so just to save this and go to the browser and refresh your page now you will see that we have the search job form and now let's try to find a job for example let's say principal producer or customer healthcare let's find it okay and make the search result so you can see there are no jobs at the moment okay so just go here make it jobs and what we can do let's say producer okay when you click on the search you will see that there are some kind of jobs that we can see like principal producer government producer and if you wish you can copy the entire name and let's try to search it okay so when you hit the enter it will show you this job okay so this is how we can implement the search form for searching the jobs and we are only seeing the active jobs okay but user do not have any idea that whether this job is active or not okay but in the company scope jobs we can mention some take like this job is active or not so we can display some uh, check mark here whether this job is active or not but on the user end we do not have to show anything like whether this job is active or not okay because we are showing this job to the public users that means it is active now let's try to see if user is try to find this uh, company job by its company name then what we need to do so here what we can do that uh, go to the search form in the jobs index and here what we can do title or company name quant okay uh, here i put the double underscore so title or company name quant company name is for showing the associated search result okay for example uh, jobs are belongs to company so let's say if we want to see all the jobs available within a company so we can find the jobs via its company name as well okay so title or company name quant or i mean contains so now refresh the page okay and when you uh, see the jobs you can see that we have again error why because we are trying to search it through the associated data okay so when you try to search through associated data you need to add this method as well that is self dot reinsecable association okay so let's go to the job model again and now we will see the difference between both so here you can see these are the reinsecable attributes reinsecable attribute means that you want to search through the model with its own attributes in the database or its own field in the database but a reinsecable association means that on what kind of association you want to apply search okay so we have two association with the jobs here you can see it has many applied jobs and it belongs to company okay so we are using the company now because the company name counts so you just can search the jobs with the company as well okay so what we can do save it and go to the browser if you refresh this now you can see that this is showing the search result now let's uh, make it uh, the jobs index okay and uh, let's provide the company name let's say blick so blick okay and when you go to the search you can see we are getting all the companies either job or company which contains the blick okay so it is searching the job with the company name okay so here you can see that this is the company name it is blick this is blick this is blick okay so you need to take these things up into the count okay so here you can see that these are the necessary methods that you need to make so what is the reinsecable attribute the reinsecable attribute is the method class method which is showing that we can search through all these attributes of this model if we want to remove this we can remove the attributes from here as well okay like if you don't want to search through title we want to search through status so we can add that and remove the title and the reinsecable association means like across what associations you want to make your search okay so this is how it will work so i hope you got the idea and we created this uh, uh, search form on the jobs controller and we implemented uh, the rainsec into the jobs controller as well now for the better readability what we can do in this text field that we can add a placeholder like search jobs 
और एट टाइटल कंपनी और जॉब टाइप फॉर एग्जांपल लाइक वेदर यूजर वांट टू सर्च द ऑन साइट जॉब्स और रिमोट जॉब्स ओके सो व्हाट वी कैन डू हियर वी कैन पुट इट लाइक दैट एंड व्हेन यू रिफ्रेश द पेज यू कैन सी दैट दिस इज द प्लेस होल्डर नाउ लेट्स मेक द जॉब टाइप सर्च एज वेल सो इन द जॉब यू कैन सी दैट व्हाट वी इंक्लूडेड वी इंक्लूडेड द जॉब टाइप ओके सो वी कैन सी जॉब टाइप एंड हियर व्हाट वी कैन डू इन द इंडेक्स टाइटल और जॉब टाइप और कंपनी नेम काउंट ओके सो नाउ लेट्स ट्राई टू सर्च थ्रू द सॉरी आफ्टर द जॉब टाइप यू नीड टू मेक और एज वेल सो टाइटल और जॉब टाइप और कंपनी नेम कंटेंट्स ओके सो वट एवर यू इनपुट यूजर विल प्रोवाइड इट विल फर्स्ट मेस वेदर इट इज कंटेंट्स विद इन द जॉब टाइटल और वेदर इट इज कंटेंट विद इन द जॉब जॉब टाइप और वेदर इट इज कंटेंट इन द कंपनी नेम ओके सो इट विल सर्च बेस्ट अपॉन दैट ओके सो नाउ लेट्स सेव इट एंड गो टू द ब्राउजर एंड हियर लेट्स प्रोवाइड रिमोट ओके वेन यू क्लिक द रिमोट वेन यू क्लिक ऑन द सर्च ओके सो हियर यू कैन सी इट इज फाइंडिंग नो जॉब ओके बट लेट सी वॉट हैपन हियर बिकॉज वी ऑलरेडी हैव द जॉब टाइप एज रिमोट ओके सो इट इज स्टिल नॉट फाइंडिंग दैट टाइटल और जॉब टाइप और कंपनी नेम ओके सो लेट्स गो टू द जॉब मॉडल दैट वॉट द इशू इज हेयर ओके सो जॉब टाइप इज अ डिफरेंट थिंग जॉब टाइप लेट मी फाइंड लाइक वॉट इज द जॉब टाइप सो फर्स्ट गो टू द रेल्स कंसोल फॉर एग्जाम्पल ओके एंड देन फाइंड द जॉब डॉट लास्ट डॉट जॉब टाइप ओके सो इट इज वेदर इट इज फुल टाइम और पार्ट टाइम सो यू कैन सर्च थ्रो दैट सो सॉरी इट्स नॉट अबाउट द रिमोट और ऑन साइट इट इज अबाउट द फुल टाइम पार्ट टाइम और इंटर्नशिप ओके सो लेट्स गो टू द जॉब्स इंडेक्स अगेन एंड लेट्स टाइप फुल टाइम so when you see here it is showing all the jobs available for full time okay and you can also see the jobs available for intermediate or fresher or not or depends upon you that how many attributes you want to search through or how many attributes you want to add for searching here okay so you can add job location or you can uh, add uh, uh, let's say applicable for on the total position or you can search the job by salary range as well okay so that's uh, depends upon you that how many attributes you want to make search okay and that's all for this lecture in the next lecture we will do one more improvement in the search form that we will add multiple search fields okay like we will allow that uh, users to se uh, search the uh, jobs by company name separately and search the jobs via job title or search the job via let's say जॉब लोकेशन जॉब टाइप और फॉर वॉट काइंड ऑफ कैंडिडेट इट इज एप्लीकेबल फॉर वेदर इट इज इंटरमीजिएट फ्रेशर और एक्सपीरियंस ओके सो वी विल डू दैट थिंग इन द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर ओके बट फॉर दिस लेक्चर वी इम्प्लीमेंटेड द सर्च फॉर्म ओके एंड लेट मी मेक द कमेंट फर्स्ट ओके सो हियर लेट मी मेक इट शट डाउन एंड इट स्टेटस सो नाउ लेट मी इट किट एड एप ओके लेट मी मेक द कमेंट it commit minus m and edit basic range set search for jobs okay now let's push this origin feature and then display display active jobs only to public view okay so let me copy the password which is in my git ignore copy this and paste it here okay so the now this change is on the browser and you can find this uh, let us commit on the pull request which is already open here okay so when you go to the pull request you will find that i have added two commits here you can go to the files change to see what changes we have so this is the job controller where we made the changes and this is the job model where we added these kind of attributes and the scopes for this and this is the 
uh, index.html.trb of the the jobs outside the company scope where we added the search form. Okay, and re rest of the work we will do in the next lecture. So I hope you like that, uh, especially about the range seekable association and the range seekable attributes that uh, we need to add. Okay, so that's all from this lecture. We will meet into the next lecture. Next lecture. Till then, Tata. Goodbye. Take care. Stay safe.